truly mean or feel. You just haven't given yourself a, enough time to let what has been heard or done uh, process through so that you can intelligently re respond to it. So that's the emotional intelligence piece of it. Uh, the other piece I want to say is it's okay to feel your feelings. So for whatever reason, a lot of the times that's what happens too, is we feel like we need to numb ourselves to a degree or build this wall around our feelings, right? And that also causes more problems because that that's, that's again, putting these things, whether you're stacking up a mountain or uh, like shaking up the Coke bottle and all of a sudden the, the top goes flying off and you spew all over everything in, in all kinds of different ways. But I, for me, that's one of my personal challenges is to just accept feeling the feeling, good, bad, up, down, left, right, whatever the feeling is that you're feeling, it's it's you, it's who you are, it's part of you know what makes you the unique individual that you are, is those feelings and emotions and your perceptions on different things. And it's okay to feel those different things. The question is, how do you then respond to it? What do you put back out? And as Chris, like you said, with your stepson, his model for that was to be physical and to be violent, right? And that's what you have to identify for yourself is when you do have those triggers and you are responding, what are you trying to accomplish in that response? And that's probably the biggest piece of it that you, that we want to talk about is, is it to just defend yourself and, and say, my way is the right way and your way is wrong and et cetera, et cetera. Or are you actually seeking to get to a point of resolution, to a point of understanding, et cetera, knowing that sometimes resolution or understanding means you agree to disagree because that's going to happen also and be okay with that from uh, an emotional standpoint and be able to move on.